How do you justify using the customer's electricity? Do you plug into the outlets in the garage? Everyone in my comment section has had split opinions on this. Guys with other businesses understand the necessity of using a customer's power, while other non-business owners believe you shouldn't label yourself as mobile if you can't bring your own generator. I run multiple businesses that require me using my electric pressure washer, such as trash can cleaning and mobile car detailing. In all of the jobs that I've done, I've only a single time had any trouble with trying to use the customer's power. I truly believe that most people don't even care if you use it because you aren't going to be there for 10 to 12 hours. Other businesses I can understand might take up too much energy depending on the equipment they use. This could raise a customer's bill, which would be the only reason someone wouldn't be okay with you using their electricity. In this case, if you are using a washer and provide detailing or can cleaning services, the likelihood the customer denies you is stupidly low. You just have to approach the situation in the right way by mentioning it to the customer in the initial text messages leading up to the job. This sets up the boundaries between yourself and the customer. That way you aren't going in assuming that they're okay with it and they aren't. When I first started out, I would just show up to jobs and assume the customer would be okay with me using it, which worked for months. It just came over time that I started asking people if it was okay because one of the women that we did was furious when we showed up and asked her as we were starting the job. Most of the time though, I would just show up and people would assume I would need it and point me out to the nearest outlet I could plug into. But this one customer, when I asked her where she was okay with me plugging into, she was disgusted and asked me how I could consider myself mobile services. Maybe she was having a bad day or she thought we would heavily increase her bill, but we let her know that this was the only way we could provide the service and she eventually complied. The truth is that maybe we could have gone a better route in asking her or the timeliness could have been sooner. But in the end, she let us plug into her outlets and start the equipment up and I didn't have to justify my reasoning. I just let her know that we would not be able to complete the job without it and if she didn't mind us using it, we were happy to. Also, if she did not want us to, we could recommend her someone else. Literally the next day, we landed another job and I asked him the same questions as we were starting the job and he pointed us into the garage. Managing and sending invoices to these customers and these jobs would not be as simple without Quote IQ. I highly recommend it to any business newcomers. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, give Quote IQ a try for free. Free, just click the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Quadoc, you can also help you manage your schedule, send automated follow-up emails, and text. Now back to the video. He let us know that he cleared the stuff around that one outlet because he wanted us to use that one specifically. The point is that he had it ready before he even knew we were going to need it and everything went down smoothly. He even recommended us to his clients at work. When you start to get into where you should plug stuff in at, I usually wouldn't just assume the customer is okay with you going into their garage. If you can find an outlet on the outside of the house, that would probably be your best bet to stay away from confrontation. Not that there's anything wrong with you, but some people are very picky and private about workers getting too close to their house. The worst thing that can happen is the customer says they wouldn't like you to plug it in, so you just be nice because you want to make sure you keep good rapport. Things start to become a problem when you don't own significant equipment and you really just rely on the customer to provide it. For example, you need to always remember to bring your own extension cords to jobs, maybe even multiple in case the outlet is in an inconvenient spot. There's been a ton of jobs where customers have offered to let me use theirs and even given me theirs for future use when I already had my own. This is just a bad habit to start with people because then you get a reputation for being the guy who doesn't provide good service or can't provide his own own tools. Talk about a long walk for a short drink of water. Yes, you can absolutely use the customer's electricity. Depending on your area, you shouldn't have any problems at all. Remember though, my clientele is middle class. I'm not sure how lower class people would feel about this, but I can only speak from my experience. The only argument you can really make is to apologize and tell the customer you'd be happy to continue the service and be quick if they didn't mind you using it. And if not, still say sorry and head home. But listen, feel free to purchase an overpriced trailer with your own water tank and combined generator. It'll only shred your profits, but hey, it'll save awkward moments when the customer says no to using their electricity. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Peace.